Welcome to the training for the Meadows Audio Link. The Audio Link kit may look something like this. It should have an adapter, charging station, Audio Link microphone, auxiliary cable to use in place of headphones, a lanyard and clip for the microphone, and a guide. This is the charging station for the AudioLink microphone. This will be set up by the person providing the AudioLink microphone kit. Please set this up in a location that is easily accessible for the teacher and the student. Depending on age, the student should be the one responsible for charging and setting up the microphone. It is important as an adult to supervise this to make sure it is charging and set up correctly. At the end of each day, the audio link microphone will need to be charged, so it will be fully charged for the next day. Open the flap located on the bottom part of the microphone so it will plug into the charging station easily. Please keep in mind the microphone will need to be turned off first, then placed into the charging station. Turn off the microphone by simply pressing the top button down for 3 seconds. The light will turn off. Once it is charging, you will see an orange light. When you are ready to use the audio link microphone, simply pull the audio link microphone out of the charging station. You will notice the orange light will turn to green. That means the device is turned on. Please keep in mind the microphone does not automatically turn on the microphone. The person wearing the microphone will need to press the button with the icon of a microphone before speaking. Once you do that, you will notice the icon of the microphone will light up white. Here, it shows you how to turn off the microphone. Let's review the parts of the audio link microphone. At the very top right corner is the indicator light. On the top left corner is the microphone. The button located at the top of the microphone is the on and off button. It will light up white to let you know it is connected to the student's cochlear implant. The button with the icon of the microphone will light up once it is pressed before speaking. To mute the microphone, simply press it again. You will see the white light turns off. The button next to the microphone will light up when a student is listening on a computer using the auxiliary cord in place of headphones. The white light will only appear once sound is being heard from the computer. How to set this up is coming up shortly in this video. The bottom button is where the volume can be adjusted. The minus symbol turns down the volume and the plus symbol makes it louder. This part of the video will show you how to do a one-time sync between the audio link microphone and cochlear implant. The person providing the microphone should help set this up. This only needs to be done one time. Once the one-time sync up is complete, the cochlear implant will automatically connect to the audio link microphone each time it is turned on. If it won't connect, simply do this step over again. Please continue watching to learn how to do this one time sync up. First, make sure the audio link microphone is turned on. Press down the top button and hold for three seconds the green light will appear. Turn off the cochlear implant by removing the battery cover. You can do this before turning on the microphone. Then take the round part of the cochlear implant and place it over the volume control. Next, turn on the cochlear implant by putting the battery cover back on.
the top button will light up white indicating it is connected to the cochlear implant. If the student wears two cochlear implants, this will need to be done to each cochlear implant. This part of the video will show you how to set up the AudioLink microphone to the computer to take place of a headphone. Open the flap located on the bottom part of the AudioLink microphone. Plug the smaller gold end of the plug into the round port. Then take the other end of the auxiliary cord and plug it into the headphone port on your computer device. The white light will appear on those two buttons once the video starts to play. The audio link microphone comes with a lanyard and clip. This lanyard is optional to use. This will show you how to set up the lanyard and clip to the audio link microphone. In this picture, it shows the correct way to wearing the microphone. Please keep in mind the microphone should be placed 6 to 8 inches from your mouth. The lanyard is helpful to prevent from losing it, but it causes the microphone to hang down by the belly button, which is too far from the person's mouth. The microphone will not be able to pick up the person's voice. This person shows you how you can use the lanyard to prevent a microphone from hanging down to your belly button and to prevent it from sliding down the lanyard. She is showing you how to measure the placement of the microphone. It should be 6 to 8 inches from your mouth. She is using her hand to measure the correct placement of the microphone. Pull the lanyard apart from the clip. Next, figure out the best placement to tie the knot to keep the microphone in the correct place and prevent it from sliding down the lanyard. Once you have the place for the microphone, put the clip back together. Place the microphone above the knot. This video was created by the Brazoria Fort Bend Regional Day School Program for the Deaf. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have questions, please contact the person who provided this assistive listening device.